Hello, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals, and I'm back with the September Erin Condren monthly plan with me. I have this kit from... I've forgotten what the shop's called. Mmm... Duke, Plook Desi Duke Plook Designs. And I am doing a Harry Potter September in both my Erin Condren and my... Ch -ch -ch bullet journal, so yeah. You should have seen the Harry Potter setup for my bullet journal already. Um, so if you haven't, go check it out. Um, yeah, I love how it came out. It's pretty cool. Um, and I'm pulling in some Simply Gilded washi tapes. Bet you could have guessed that one. <laughs> so, we're just popping down the little top bits for now. This is my first time using one of her kits. And I quite like it because you can put, you put the days of the week down yourself. So you can make it a Monday to Sunday. Rather than a... Whatever it's meant to be. You know what I'm trying to say, I'm sure. So yeah, I'm just popping down the days of the week. And in a second I'll realise I shouldn't have done that first because I'm going to have to peel half of them up because I'm not very sensible sometimes, but oh well. So yeah, I found it quite difficult to find washi tapes to match this kit. Sorry if you just heard my stomach rumble, it was just really loud. Orcs. Anyway, I found it really hard to find washies to match this kit. So I ended up pulling in the um, May, May sub box bows, the peach bows because they sort of match and I actually quite like how it came out, it sort of brightened it up. I'm not a big peach person um, and I used the wood grain from the hummingbird box because that's one of my favourite boxes and washi tapes. This is where I realised I have to peel half of it up. And I used the uh, collab with Simply Gilded and the Planner Sophistica house words washi which are sort of the words that describe their houses on a washi tape so yeah we are just this kit doesn't come with things to cover up the day so i'm just popping some washi down over the days that aren't in this month because the month starts on a saturday and um, all of those four days are covered so they are full and then in the friday box i'm gonna make some little flags because wouldn't be me without at least one washi flag somewhere <laughs> um, i got this idea i think from uh, Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans here on YouTube. She is one of my favourite YouTubers and yeah, we watch her still. Um, we watch her still. I, By that I mean when I started my... I was watching loads of YouTube before I started my new job. Um, especially on my elective. And when I started my new job I decided to really like just watch the people that I really wanted to. Um, because I just didn't have the time to watch everybody that I was watching. Um, so she is one of the ones that I am subscribed to on this channel um, because I still watch her most of her videos um, so yeah and we're just getting that last bit of washi down and then we will actually move on to doing some planning and when I say planning I mean putting more washi down to mark out my shifts at work so what I did in August and I really liked is I used different washi tapes to mark out whether I was on a normal day or on call on a night shift. I think I actually stuck stickers down for my night shifts, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I am um, doing the same again. So I'm using the Harry Potter words washi to mark off normal shifts. Um, I'm using the bows and the uh, wood grain for the other days. So this is when I realise I can't have quite put these stickers down right because that box doesn't line up with the end of my big sticker at the top, which kind of annoys me I have to say, um, but whatever, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm just using that to mark a day at work, that's kind of a big deal, and then we're going to go back to marking the days that I'm on a normal day at work. Um, so because the washi is words and I didn't want like the same words next to each other like I managed to do in that top strip I decided to like chronologically do it backwards because the words are your the end of the word is the end of the tape that is already cut that makes no sense I don't you, do you see what I mean like the roll is on the left of the page yeah that makes sense anyway I was really struggling to cut this bit of washing and it ends up wonky it's kind of annoying that bit's not too bad, but when I put it down in a sec, and here I'm trying to fix it because I know it's annoying, it's going to annoy me. And I'm like, whatever, it's fine, it'll have to do. So yeah, 
Now I'm going back and doing the week before. So this month I don't do too badly. I have four night shifts and three long days, which to be fair isn't too bad. Um, can't complain. And sort of two normal weeks between those. So yeah. And then it's actually my last month on Jerry's. I'm halfway through my geriatric placement. So weird. Um, so just marking in my last couple of normal days. And then we will move on to the other things we have to mark. So I'm going to grab another of the... Oh, I'm going to straighten off these edges because that's that wonky edge that I was talking about. Look how curved it is. So rubbish at cutting straight. <laughs> but oh well. So yeah, that's that. And then we're going to pull in the... Um, we're going to think about pulling in this other uh, marble sort of greeny tape. And then I decided it's too green and it didn't work. Um, though I really like that washi, so I'm sad. So pull in the beach peach bows instead to mark my long days. And they are long weekend days. Fun, fun. Ugh, aren't 13 hour shifts just the jam? Same with the night shifts. So yeah, and that's four night shifts there that we're just going to mark off with the hummingbird washi tape. Yeah. And that is all the washi, I think. Oh no, I'm going to put one more that piece down at some point. I don't know when. But anyway, we're going to move on to putting some stickers down now, finally. I'm going to do a bit of a viv wiggle first. And what do we have first? We're going to put down, basically this month I have a lot of birthdays. Rangers and guides start back. And I'm doing a fundraising day. And by a lot of birthdays, I think I mean I have five birthdays. It is my sister's 30th birthday, which is what that like half box is for on the 18th. Um, it's my sis brother and sister's birthday. It's my brother's 30-something birthday, 33rd, I believe. I should, probably shouldn't be sharing how old my siblings are. It is my other brother's... <laughs> Girlfriend doesn't seem like a strong enough word because they've been together for ages. And they live together but they're not engaged but they're basically engaged but they're not like they talk about getting married but they're not engaged because my brother's never proposed basically anyway it's her birthday as well and then it's one of my friend's birthdays one of my good friends like old friends birthdays um it is another friend's birthday that might be it that might be the five yeah so I feel like there's a sixth but I can't think of here's the last bit of wash I'm putting down that's just to mark um, that I'm probably going to see my other half that weekend because I'm working the weekend after even though I saw him last weekend but yeah we we generally do it every other weekend but it doesn't always work shift wise so sometimes we see each other two weekends do worry. so I'm hopefully seeing him this weekend so that's what that washing strip is for see I feel like that Oh, it's my other friend. It was my friend from uni's birthday. Sorry, Charlie. Just forgot your birthday. Um, and then that box there is for the fundraising day I have. So I think that's everything sticker-wise. I'm just debating about it. Like, half box was. This box, like, because I have so much to mark at the minute with this month with guides and rangers and stuff... I didn't have enough like of the smaller boxes so I've got loads of four, like four boxes left and I just don't really have a use for those which is a bit annoying um, so yeah it's kind of frustrating um, but well so kind of is what it is there but oh well and um, so there I'm just putting my key down this side here popping some washi down and then in a minute I will pull in some of my custom words from handcrafted by Sheree so yeah, that. I'm just debating whether there's anything else I need there. Giving a prem uh, the wiggle. So these are my stickers from Handcrafted by Sheree, my night shift, my encore, and my work stickers. Then we're also going to pull in my custom other Handcrafted by Sheree 2018 foiled numbers, just to mark that this is in 2018, because it's not marked in the kit, and I'm just looking for the best place to put it, and I just put it on top of Snape's face. Snape. And then we're going to put balloons in all of these birthdays. I end up writing some of the names in first because it just works better so we're going to zoom in a little bit so we can write the names in. So this is my friend Isla's birthday. 
And there's the balloons there from JD's Crafts. Um, so I'm just going to pop lots of these down just to get everything in. This is a friend that I forgot about his birthday boo and I was recording this voiceover. So I was, um, sorry, I go off screen a little bit here. I'm just um, writing it. The names, it's my sister's birthday. Can't find a good place to sit with stickers. So I'm like, oh well, guides can have balloons. Um, I couldn't remember what that box was for and I didn't have an icon for it. So, and my elder brother's birthday, elder, oldest, oldest brother's birthday. I'm the baby, baby girl. <laughs> I'm not really baby, obviously. I'm filming videos and editing them. Clearly not baby and I'm a doctor, but you know what I mean? I'm the baby of the family. Um, that's the last one. We're going to zoom back out and move on. I'm just going to find some stickers, which are these two icons from Ginger Cat Co. So there's a little pile of books which comes on a sheet on its own for a sort of study day at work. And the other one for the fundraising day, which is at a little church. I'm going to write guides and rangers in. I'm going to realise when I'm on a night shift I'm not going to be at guides and rangers because I start work halfway through them. Because yeah, I do. So I'm going to pull those up. And then I'm going to write in the rest of them. I start to write guides on this one in grey. So I can just get rid of it because I thought I had plenty. But then I, after I finished this video I found some other things I needed to mark. So it's kind of annoying that I didn't have that in the end. But what you're going to do... So just putting in rangers and guides on the correct days so we don't go back till the 10th and then I can't do the 24th, 25th so it's a bit rubbish. I'm only doing guides and rangers twice this month but oh well. So yeah that is it for this bit. I'm going to go through and add the date dots in a minute after doing a bit of a vocal wiggle um, and just showing you what I've got left in the kit because that's all of the kit I'm going to use. Oh, I'm just going to pop it to do tide till down. And then we're going to grab some date dots from K Elizabeth Plans and start popping them down. While I'm popping them down, I'm just going to talk about the fact I'm actually doing a theme this month. Like, I don't do themes very often. I've only just started like planning out my kits so that I know what I'm doing <laughs> with my life and to try and start using up some of my kits. I actually need to plan out August. August. I'm so confused by the months. Um, I start need to plan out October's because I want to buy some kits but I don't want to buy like more autumn -y kits if I don't have a use for them so I need to plan out October before I buy any more kits you might well you won't have noticed because all my hauls are going up a bit late you'll notice in my August uh, haul that I don't actually I haven't bought that many kits it's more other stuff that I've been buying so yeah that is everything I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna give it a big wiggle. I hope you liked. Comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye.